Here we are, Tokyo Kabukicho Tower. This place is huge. Got the square, got the uh, Godzilla building, Hotel Gracery. We got the big winner, this guy. Yeah. You fucking luck box. <laughs> Just pulling all the fire. There's no more fire cards left in the world, man. Oh, I still got one man? more case, so we're gonna see what I get. Oh my god, you're gonna pull another Marvel or something. Right. It's good stuff, man. Got some fat people, fat, fat yeah. celebrities in the house. There you go. We got another one walking up too. Oh, we do. Everybody's here, my What's god. Up? In the hotel room. Yep. In Shinjuku. Yeah. Uh, there were some nighttime shenanigans going about. Th there were many other parties partaking in nighttime shenanigans and ladies of the night. I was invited to many opportunities. Yeah. But, and I'm saying this out of the bottom of my heart, there is genuinely no better opportunity than opening Japanese Part the Mist Veil. Instead of seeking out ladies of the night. We're seeking out ladies of the cardboard. Of the cardboard. <laughs> uh, this is pretty exciting. Um, the first time we saw a Japanese misfail get opened, it was when we did the live stream with Saito. Yep, and, and that box is part of Saito's allocation. And Fluke got a case, and we got a case. So these are, this is one of the two cases of Japanese, uh, you know, early. Tomorrow's the world premiere, but... Yeah. We have a Japanese case kind of early. This feels like Christmas Eve. It, it basically <laughs> is. So, yeah. Yanji, I mean, do the honors. So we we, we the, didn't have a knife. We have a little we have the cu cutting thing. We got sleeves. We don't even have semi rigids. We're just going to do this. <laughs> Let's do this, man. Well, we'll figure, we'll figure something out. All right, all right, all right. We're fabled hunting. We're fabled hunting. In Tokyo. And as far as I know, this will be the second ever case opened of Japanese MST, but obviously I think by the time the video goes out... No, it's gonna... By the time the video goes out, it's whatever. But still, we are enjoying the benefit of getting something early, yes, right? And, and if, uh, if by the time the video goes out, everybody knows like what all the Japanese exclusives are, you know, good for you guys, but if we hit one of these, oh man. Yeah, what one of the two, then uh, we're gonna do this. And I honestly, I've been waiting like all day and uh, again, some people are, you know, at, at bars, some people are at other places and, you know, seeking, seeking some other form of uh, excitement. But I literally could think of nothing better than to do this because this is freaking awesome. Yeah, so in the hotel room, number one, part the misfill, Japanese print. Yes. And you're just going straight up. One, two, three. Well, starting from number one. All right. Just the sleeves are ready. Thank you again, Saito of uh, Hararuya, Cardon, and uh, Tokyo Fab, and other brands that uh, he has. Uh, how do you, I, I can just present it here. Oh, awesome, right. okay. No reach around necessary, says Yaji. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think normally when we do it, we, we just like spoil the golden pack, but I think we're just gonna do a top down. We don't even know if there's a golden pack. We're yeah, just gonna do the, this. Leave the surprise open. First ever. Bobble pack. What? Oh no, it's a tiger. It's a crouching tiger. Interesting. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, this is yeah. This literally means like hidden tiger, and I, I don't know how uh, Saito didn't know, but it's at least by the Chinese pictographs of, right? I think it's. I think it's probably just like uh, it's like a n not commonly used. Maybe it's not comedy. commonly used. Yeah, exactly. Like the Japanese language is really really complicated, so. Yeah. Oh, there's that awesome uh, cat art. The uh, yeah, the uh, the stir the pot. To Tortoro, uh, Totoro ish art. All right. All right. First rare. Rare. Okay, we got a foil comic. Yep. We're not. Oh, oh we got a wow. Majestic. That's that's our first. That's a majestic adult hero. Yeah. Uh, Zen, right? Yeah. Okay. Am I am I just doing all the? I'll, I'll film the. Using the other box. Yeah. It's gonna be annoying if we switch. 
It will we'll go just a box each. We're, we're just doing this. No, we're not going to switch in the middle. Wait, can I see that art? Was that the Phoenix art? Yeah, this card oh, is actually pretty good. That's that's what you pulled during the, the, the thing, right? Yeah. And it's Transcend, right? Yeah, I was uh, studying and doing a video earlier today, kind of just going over all of the cards in the set. I think that Phoenix card is actually quite strong uh, as far as common Transcends go. Okay. That's rare, common rare. Okay. So, looks like no coal foil in this pack. Ooh, Ooh. We got our first Majestic Orihan, our first uh, Impact Majestic, not expansion slot. Orihan? Oh, you know you know the actual name. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, it's like a tome. You can draw four if you pitch a chi. I just gotta say, it's like the anime art of this has to be Enigma, right? And that's yeah, that's Enigma. Yeah, yeah that's Enigma. The the Enigma art. In Japanese, it just looks so much more fire. It's just appropriate because it's like anime style and in Japanese. So that's I don't know. It hit, it hits hits different. That's what the young ones say. Hits different. Yeah, it's different Oop. than than English. Oh, we got a expansion slot card. Do you, do you know what it is? This yeah, one. it's um. It's like a it's like a Vincent card, it's a Rune Gate. Uh, if you do damage, uh, you make an Eloquence token. Mm -hmm. I forget the name exactly. Okay. Oh, this is really cool. All right, all right. Let's let's. Another one. Ooh, another majestic. This one is, I think, it has Ward six on your turn and Ward one on their turn. Okay. Uh, also, I think quite a powerful card for limited. Different um, game states. All yeah. right. I'm doing like a little bit of practice for, for the calling, trying to remember what all these cards do. Well, I was I was joking around on another group or on another piece of content that I would uh, go crack Japanese packs just to arb the extra eight Japanese packs. Yeah. And then I was like, you know, somebody was like, no, just 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 buy more product in Japanese just buy product in Japanese and play like a normal human being yeah like, you don't even know what these cards are gonna do and that's true so the keywords I, I I don't know yeah yeah it, it's tough uh, I think the first go around a lot of the cards are uh, a little complicated I think the Blair Witch card oh wow Foiling. 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 amazing little tiger out yeah. of the mist some people would go, oh, that's what they said about Ari as well. I was like, no, no, the art in the set is just so much better than Ari. That, like, I'm just getting the, the whole, mon you know, multi-chromatic look of this, the, these foils, and they just, they're just so different than anything that's come out before. Yeah. Oh, is that the, that's the, the is that blue. a different color of the Spectral Shield? Uh, what colors? Because the, the ones in the special packs are gray, uh, I think there's a green one. Green, yeah. So that's a new art of spectral shield. Yeah. All right. Okay. So far, we've we've hit uh, what? Four four M's, four non foil M's. Yeah. That's the fire so far, but we we got a lot more to go. Is that a co? Is that Kofo? What? What? Oh no. New. Yeah, new doesn't just doesn't look like Enigma. She this looks like very I don't know. Very nice art. She's very blessed. But uh yes. She's uh that, that, that doesn't, have, doesn't have the anime flair to it. Similar to the other ladies that uh certain people are Yes, yes, yes. Very very similar to uh what people are seeking out there tonight. <laughs> Whoa! Well, majestic. What is that? Wait, is this a one cost, one cost three power? This is it does three this, things. This this is the this is the one of the power cards in the set. Really? It's um, you choose one, or or, or you choose one for each like blue you've pitched. Uh huh. 
So it's either um, plus two, it has go again, or you draw a card. So it's like it's like E-Strike. Uh-huh. But if you pitch three blues and you get all the modes... Then it's just gangster. It's like, uh, draw a card, plus two, and go again. Yeah. I think this is going to be like, you know, one of the juice cards. It's just like generic. And it's way. foiled, too. And yeah, it's, it's Japanese. Way. So that's a hit. Yeah. There you go. Dude, I, you know, I'm getting more confidence now for the event. Uh-huh. Being able to, you know, recognize... You're actually going to play it in Japanese? Don't tell me you're going to do that. No, no, no. I'm going to play in English tomorrow, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, because you have to draft in Japanese uh, for calling day two. Yeah, there's this one. I, I don't even know what it's called. I would say, like, uh, Succubus sucks a soul. <laughs> Look at her. She's sucking his soul energy out. Yeah. I'm just sucking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I got a sneak peek. This is, uh, I don't think not. There's no cold foil here. Yeah, just a common. And some new new. New new. <laughs> oh, so this is this is the big hit. Did we get any other rare foils? No, these are just common foils. Rare. Oh. Oh, is there a rare foil? Yeah, there's a rare foil. Yeah. Rare foils are actually, uh, I think, quite scarce usually. I think you only usually get like about like three or four. Yep. Those. I think Japanese is scarce in general, and that means the rare and majestic foils of Japanese are even more scarce. People can say, oh, it's a printed to oblivion, but if you don't know, then shut the fuck up because you don't know. <laughs> There's all of these people assuming uh, on a small sample size that they know fucking everything. Yeah. And it's like, no, you, you just don't know. Oh, this is the red version of yeah. the foil that we just looked at. The regular version, yeah, of the uh, the succubus, the sucking the soul <laughs> lady, sucking foil Thomas. Yes. What else? What else? What else? Man, it'd be so crazy if there's just a, a gold. That that's that's what that's what really like. I was like, no, I don't want any activities. I want to know what's inside these boxes, man. <laughs> Dude, the, the openings are so crazy. Uh, so many. We hit, like, Ian hit two. He did, and that made me even more jealous. He, he actually hit a third one, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw. He, and he hit the cold foil, too. The cold foil fabled. Yeah. That, yeah which I is saw, so fire. That, I saw that. Like, that card is beautiful, man. And then both sides are. Yep, cold yep, foil. yep. It's a, it's a Marvel cold foil fable, the first ever. Yeah. And people are like, it's playable. And then, you know, it's always the outraged uh, Game Piece army. They're like, oh, what about the players? Make it for the players. And it's like, uh, there's a rainbow foil, asshole. Just, you know, stop making reasons to be offended, you fucking pieces of shit. I, I, I just hate that part of the community it's like there are other card games where you can whine about game pieces yeah like fables are rare in this game and if they already come in a rainbow foil which is you know i guess the cheaper version and they come in a cold foil marvel and if you don't can't afford the cold foil marvel or don't pull one then tough noogies that's life all right all right enough about my position on uh, cardboard politics oh what is that this is the attack reaction where Oh, you get five? Yeah, you can have a base, one power, attack, plus five. And she's, uh, yeah, she looks uh, very enthusiastic. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think they did a pretty cool job in this set of making, like, you know, a lot of super powerful situational cards. Uh-huh. Um, so, uh, you know, I get asked this question a lot about, like, whether or not they're, like, power creeping the game too much. But I think they're just making, they're making the game less vanilla, if that makes sense. Oh, we have another majestic. Yes. Well, wait. But it's, it's she. It's another succubus card. I'm just liking, like, look. This is like a little more violent version of like a high school DXD type of card. I mean, look at the art, right? A little bit, right? You got little ladies and demons, and it's all Japanese themed. Is the one, this is the one where you have to play three attack reactions, or is it just like on hit? Plus three attack. It it gets plus three oh. if something happens. And it's stealth. It's a stealth. I think that's something, something like ing me, yeah, meaning I, stealth. Yep. I think it's like if you play three attack reactions, it gets plus three 
Uh, and then if it hits, you get to banish, um, you get to look at their hand. Yep. And then you pick a card, and then you banish all copies of this card with the same name. Yeah, I'm learning to, to read Mandarin, and this is like hide, hide, basically stealth. Uh -huh. Two words meaning hide. So, yeah, and it, it's, that's how the Japanese language works too, because the Japanese language has uh, many roots in uh, Mandarin Chinese. Whoa! Oh, slot. this is the the Olympia card, right? Like, yeah. get cards from out of the game. Yeah, that is really cool. What else? Oh, it's we're getting low. There's four. Uh, I don't see a. No, there's no yellow. There's no beautiful yellow at the bottom. Unlucky. Unlucky. There's other boxes though. So let's see. Do do do. A foil rare. Ooh. This is, uh, I think, uh. Oh! Oh, oh wait! Oh, a cold this foil. is a cold foil. Oh, yeah, cold foil common. common. Hold on. We got, a, we got a sleeve right here. We'll, we'll, we'll still give, the, give it the respect of a sleeve. I think that's called, like, uh. Secret art body or, or body art. Some, she's, something, she's, she's something, got body. That's, that's for body. sure. Yeah. This mask is pretty good for limited. Obviously, not the cold foil that we want to want to pull, but cat mask but it's still a cold foil and it's japanese all right i'll put that there i'll probably i should probably sleeve this as well oh yeah people are calling this the b strike the blue strike oh the b strike yeah okay the b strike uh yeah it's gonna be in it's, it's gonna be in the magnolia booth tomorrow most likely we'll see oh oops back to here i'm busy looking at the b strike what else? What else? Common coal. Common foil. All right, we're... Is this... This is just BS, okay. right? All right, we're getting towards the end. Um, I think we've probably hit... The foil... The foil... Blue E-Strike is... Probably, like, the major hit of the box. Unless... Unless... How many... Two? Last two? No, no gold. No gold. Pack. Won't want. Sad feeling, but you know what? I, I think gold packs are like 1 in 20 boxes. Yep. Ian is just a freaking luck box. <laughs> it's so funny. I was trying to figure out how to say luck box in Japanese. Oh, oh man. The, you the art. Oh, yes. Soul. Oh, there's oh, the oops, foils. Sorry. It's all good. I think it's pretty cool how they they call so like the there's like cycles in this set. Yep. Where it's like red, blue, red, uh, yellow, blue. Uh huh. And then red is the body, mm -hmm. and blue is the mind. Mm -hmm. And then I think it's cool that they called yellow soul, because even though it doesn't have to do with Mysteria, you know, mm -hmm. it has some tie-ins to Solana or you know, Solana. The yellow cards there. Okay. Representative of the soul. Too bad they're the worst <laughs> yeah. color usually. Oh, Ooh, we got a two two majestic foils. Is it? Do you know which one this is? Oh, this is like the um the sideboard card. So uh, when you play this, uh, all uh, attacks your opponents control uh, mm -hmm. get minus one that turn, mm -hmm. and they uh, can't talk hit triggers. Ah, okay. This is. It sounds like a better version of um. This round's on me, the, the minus one, five. Yeah, this round's on me blocks. This one is an instant. There's, you know, different mm -hmm. use cases. So let me just real quick go through the hits. Or can, can you just simply count the M's and the hits and the... Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we got seven. Seven M's. M's. Okay. Um, two. Rainbow foil M's. M's. Okay. Uh... Okay. And one cold foil. One cold foil. Four. Bonus. Four. Rare, rare foils. foils. So, that was our first box. Any, any Anything to say about this? Or, like, what would you say? This is a below average box, obviously, right? No, I think this is, like, a... It might even be above average. We have to see, um, because, like, in terms of Majestics, I mean, it's more than we're used to. Usually, we get, like, about seven to eight. Mm-hmm. So you get like two, um, two rainbow full of majestics. Um, this one in particular, I think, is really nice. Yes, the B strike. Yeah. B strike, everybody. Mister Yanji, fabled hunter, is uh, making the call. 
So, uh, I believe that uh, this little uh, yeah. asset in the hotel room... We're gonna this is this is going to be like an eight ball in a hotel room because the rule of having an eight ball in a hotel room is you never have anything left. Oh. Those that those of you that know what we're talking about, yeah, yeah. if you know, you know. If you don't, then uh, stay naive. Uh, for you guys, it's going to be probably a week or at least three days. Yeah. For us, it's going to be thirty seconds later. So stay tuned. <laughs>